Hello, Cuspers. If you are born on the cusp of Virgo Libra, this video is for you. You are at the right place at this moment in space and time, and thank you for being here. You might be a Virgo watching for a Libra. You might have Libra and Moon and uh, Virgo rising. You might as any combination of the two. This reading I feel is going to work out for you because we're taking the two signs, we're doing a mashup, and that's how it's going to be. Um, and this is sort of the format for the cusp readings. They're a little bit shorter than the general messages, so you should get everything you need in the next 10 minutes okay now just a quick reminder uh a thank you for everyone who's been picking up on these cusp readings and viewing and commenting on them the response has been overwhelming so i wanted to give drop a little bit of a uh incentive for you guys i've got these little um um books that I'm giving away as a result of commenting on my uh, video blog, which is uh, Noren's Roundtable. If you go to my channel and look for that video on the last one there, if you go in and, and you don't have to watch the whole thing, just drop in, leave a comment on the on the part that you did watch, and I will uh, be likely to enter your name into the draw so you can get this little book on uh, palm reading and this little other little book on handwriting analysis. It actually shows you how to develop your skills uh, to to discern and to uh, be intuitive uh, and make intuitive predictions based on somebody's handwriting and the lines of their palm, which is it just as age old as tarot, really, okay? So, just for you guys, right? I didn't offer that to the general reading because those are uh, my hardcore subscribers that usually check those out. Um, but yeah, being born on a cusp is never an easy thing. Normally, you've got two different kinds of energy to get through or to meld together or that you are forced to work with. So... Uh, I felt that pulling some additional cards and bringing forward some additional messages for you guys is oh so important, okay? And we're starting off. You guys are number one. If you're born on the Virgo Libra cusp, this is for you. All right, now we've pulled the oracle cards through from the general readings. This side will represent Virgo. This side represents Libra, okay? And let's just take a quick look what's coming in from Virgo, okay? You guys have pulled cards number 24, time for a nap, and the reverse. Card number 42, wide open, okay? And Virgo, in that general reading, we discussed that there could be some of you feeling that it's time to regress, retreat, come in, rejuvenate, regenerate, and others of you are going to be leading the charge. You're going to be flowing with the energy and like bursting at the seams almost so it's kind of a mixed bag coming in from virgo day to day everything's going to be a little bit different your energy levels are going to be up you may overextend yourself then you feel like you really need a nap you really need to come in and gather your strength for the next extravaganza sort of thing so there's going to be a lot happening coming in for virgo and what i feel here is that you guys are bringing a nice balance of progression in bringing uh things forward from the subconscious from your inner work from your inner desires out into the wide open or out into the world so that's very good all right now what's coming in from libra a little bit more of a solemn occasion we've pulled card number 45 sad embrace and number 52 healing so if you're born on this cusp it could be that you are uh, finding that there has to be a return to self-love. There could have been some romantic, some relationship issues and some healing, personal healing and a personal return to self-love that is occurring more so from the Libra side. There is an awakening to treating your heart and forgiving oneself and letting go of regret or any transgressions at this time. And that's what's coming in from Libra. Okay, so hope that makes sense to you guys. You guys are falling somewhere in the vicinity of that area and you may feel the pull of one a little bit more than the other depending on what's going on okay now um being born on the cusp it's kind of like uh when you when you identify with that sign you always kind of like question like well what's going on in my other side or what's going on uh in that side of the world you know when it comes to maybe you watch the the libra video and like maybe only half of it resonated with you and that's why i really wanted to do these for you more so than anything Okay, so the format for the reading as we move forward, I'm going to pull one more tarot for the Virgo side and one more tarot for the Libra side, and then we're going to pull a best path to follow card, and then we'll get some clarity on that, and that's going to be the reading. Those are going to be the additional messages, right, you guys? That's just kind of how it's going to go. All right. So, in from Virgo, let's have a look. You guys have pulled the Five of Swords here. All right. Now, it could be coming up in October, there may be situations where people are maybe put off by you a little bit or you are being put off by them. There could be situations where energies don't match up or there could be things that are based in competition 
that have kind of been left to to boil over like almost like a, a pot that's been left too long in a stove and it starts to bubble over and nobody realizes it until it's like time for a knee-jerk reaction and that sort of things and there could be potentially some hurt feelings coming out as a result of this now i see you guys reacting to this in a way that is very favorable but it could be a situation where it's like you may find that like somebody is coming to have to ask you for your forgiveness or you might say, well, you know what, I was a little bit short, I was having a bad day, can we can we like sweep this under the rug, or can this become water under the bridge kind of thing? You guys are very responsive to this in a positive way for all parties, and this is what's coming through on the Virgo side, all right? So, as we see this card, just be careful of little conflicts that might get blown out of proportion, or things, elephants in the room that have been left too long, they've been left by the wayside, nobody's willing to address it, because maybe it does involve a difficult conversation, or maybe it does involve somebody having to say, well, I'm sorry, or I was wrong, some sort of admission of, of defeat, or uh, wrongdoing, or something of that nature, just to avoid this from becoming a very sticky type energy, all right? Virgo, you guys are gonna, you guys are very tough to read for the average Joe or the average Jane, they could be coming because you're feeling sort of different on a day-to-day -day level, that there's no consistency that other people need to relate to you at this time. And it's not your fault and you don't have to do anything any differently. Just be aware that that could be the reaction that you are receiving from other people this month. All right. Now in from Libra, we've got this reversal on a 10 of wands. All right. So there is healing going on from this Libra side. You guys are like finding some like level of uh, anxiety release or stress release from telling yourself I feel that it's all okay or whatever it was that you were all wrapped up in that you were all caught up in needs to be dropped it needs to be like let go and this is like more so of like um not really cutting your losses, but making a clean break, making the de a decision. There's a decision that's coming for you here, uh, I feel, to absolutely tell somebody no more or you're going to be taking nothing less than what you expect or nothing less than what you feel is good enough or you are deserving of or that is relevant to your situation. Nobody better be half-stepping around you in the month of October, I feel, uh, for you Virgo Libra cusps because it's like you're not going to stand for it. And you may be very direct with this person and say it's not going to stand. I'm not going to allow you to bring me down. I'm not going to allow you to add to my workload. Like You guys are like that proverbial donkey out on the Sahara and you know the guy that's whipping it is the same guy that keeps loading more weight onto the donkey's back eventually the donkey just kicks him square in the forehead shirks the load and then takes off right that it's kind of you guys are freeing yourself or liberating yourself all right so if there's any kind of situation where it's like um you may be feeling like a little bit of like uh not sorry for yourself because it's not the right word it's like more of like uh my goodness like nothing i'm not appreciated i'm taken for granted and you know i'm maybe feeling a little bit of a tough time standing up for yourself standing up for your right standing up for your your own prominence or having to tell somebody look i'm human too i'm only human too how did you ever come to expect this from me kind of thing right or why is your standard way up here when well i'm not like a machine i'm not a martian right that kind of thing all right so that's what we got best path to follow let's see what we got Emperor card reverse. Okay, so this is good in a way because we asked this as a best path to follow. If this was like any other kind of card, I would say like somebody is being too controlling. But as a best path to follow card, the emperor reversed is like let go of control. Let go of things needing to be... Um, OCD level perfect. Uh, allow people to be human so that you as well, when mistakes are made or, or um, interruptions are uh, occur, that nobody does get this Five of Swords energy and nobody gets this Ten of Swords feeling where it's like there's any residual leftover feeling of grievance because we can kind of let go and become that silent witness, allow the things to happen, allow the people around us to just be be and then that way we're never in a situation where we need to seek vindication we don't need to seek validation because we've given others the benefit of the doubt and that is kind of what's coming back up a karmic the emperor is saying like just kind of like um 
You know, even though tough times may be ahead for you and a collaboration or a group of people, the teams or the people that mean the most to you, allow them to make mistakes. Allow them to be their their silly selves, if as it were, right? Try not to grit your teeth and like uh, make make your hands into fists when somebody's energy that comes in is opposed to yours. Remember just to take a deep breath and remember they are maybe just doing their best from their position of consciousness. Maybe they weren't are not as educated, not as articulate or not as they're not a, holding things to the same standard as you are and just kind of rem, remind yourself to let that be and let the situation have a life of its own right it's kind of like um you know i think it was gemini and i don't know why this is coming forward um because it, and this could be more so from the libra thing and it's about learning not to take things too personally this air in your chart this air that is surrounding you it's sometimes it can can become so thought laden or so much in your head that it's like you have to remember it's not personal even though it's okay to feel like uh the master of your own destiny in the center of your own world which we all are divine sparks of source but when something occurs that's a result of somebody else it's like as long if we can like not take it so personally then i think that all can be forgiven and any kind of tough adversity you might be feeling can be hashed out this month, okay? Now, I'm going to pull a couple clarifiers on this emperor or this uh, letting go, letting things be, all right? If you're in a situation where you're waiting for a proposal or waiting for somebody to give a stronger commitment to you, don't push for it at this time. Allow this person to do it on their own time, all right? Now, look at this. We've got a situation with a man here. Uh, he's got like a romantic intention. Uh, and as well, he looks like his heart is a little bit uh, kind of impatient. He's like ready to act. He's not quite ready to move, but he's like thinking about it. His intention is there. It's like, if it doesn't happen, I'm going to do something about it so you may have somebody that's coming your way that uh you know has been tired of waiting for you or you are tired of waiting for them to make a move and that could be what some of this is all about for many of you all right now the other clarifier here too is to is this card of the fox and this now sometimes it like looks like little fox he's up to no good and he maybe was going in to eat a chicken and trying not to get caught that could be for some people you could just be trying in a situation where it's like you need to wash your hands of something so you're not guilty by association for others of you this is an inqu increased i'm like elmer fudd today an increased level of awareness that you need to make a clean break you need to make an escape from the the farmyard and the farmyard is the metaphor for whatever collaborative thing whatever workload has been unnecessarily placed upon you or you know some of you may find that you're looking for ways out of contracts out of agreements uh at this time and just be more so honest than anything and that will work for you with an acute awareness that maybe you just can't handle it or maybe somebody on your team or that you've trusted with responsibility just cannot handle it at this time and you may be needing to take that responsibility back and give it to somebody else something of that nature okay like i said short sweet to the point for those of you born on the virgo libra cuss it is always a pleasure to read your cards know that i love you all and we'll see you next time